Well, look who we just ran into. Garrett Brooks. What's up, George? What's going on, Garrett? How are you, dude? I'm good. Hanging in there. Good to see you. And then look at this sexy beast right What's here. What's happening? Red Carpenter. What's going on? How are you, dude? Good, man. How's everything? Everything's going good. Yeah. You know what? I'm really excited to actually be in the dirt again. Yeah. I'm just no doubt about hanging it. out with everybody. So no doubt. It's good to see you guys. How's everything been going for you, Jared? It's pretty good. Uh, this Pro 2 has been stupid fast all year. Um, I've, I've had a really good year so far. Um, out of all the Pro 2s, not counting the Pro 2Ms, we've had a really competitive truck above and beyond so uh let's turn kind around this of, we can get the truck in the background too yeah this thing has been bad fast dude uh, the pro 2 m's kind of threw a big curveball in kind of all the off-season testing that we did just because uh the, the gap the gap i have over the pro 2s is just uh making the gap for the ford for the pro it 2 it looks m. like you can make the gap pretty quick but then like getting past that little yeah. extra is like difficult yeah it's mostly like i can catch them on the beginning of the race when yeah. the track's hooked up but by the end, I mean, I can't get my truck to hook up, so it's kind of like the 410s are the same. I don't have that much of an advantage. Right. right. Yeah. And it's not like it's not like I'm going down the straightaway and just pulling by them. I don't even pull up to them on the straightaways. I'll catch them in the turns. Yeah. Kind of the exits a little bit, but it's not like we're just yanking them. You know? Well, you've always been good at driving through the turns, man. You keep a lot of speed, so. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of that had to do with the Pro Light days and stuff. Yeah, too. the Pro Light days. This thing is kind of actually set up pretty similar to my pro light it, it does like. look like the truck's a little stiffer than the other guys yeah no, i like a stiff setup and uh i also like that like front wheel, front left to just lift a little bit just to get yep. some more traction it's kind of uh i've always been used to it because i raced the sst's this truck when i first bought it dude it was free wheeling like crazy so so I'm, you know the body roll feel yeah i'm comfortable with it most guys don't like it but you know, I guess everyone has their preference. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Would you mind taking us around the truck? Yeah, for sure. So it was pretty cool. This year, um, we all went to DOTs. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually left left General when we had projects. Luckily, they let me back on the team. I won all my championships on Generals. Well, so, that's what we talked about during the podcast. Yep. You said you got to keep those relationships going, and obviously, Absolutely. Jared did that. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it was cool. We uh, back on the team with General. These tires, um, everyone calls them uh, the cheater tires of this year, so that's kind of cool. Um, they look pretty aggressive. Yeah, they're really aggressive, and for a DOT tire, I mean, they got some stiff sidewalls, and they're pretty, they're pretty soft too. So, and you may or may not have matched that color to match the rigid logo. It looks pretty sick. Yeah, luckily KMC. Um, no, that that, that was sick. actually I didn't even know what color it was going to come. I thought it was like a Ferrari red, like this. And I guess that's a frost red, so it's actually pretty badass. No one else has that. Dude, color. it looks really cool. Yeah. Uh oh, I see a little paint job in there, dude. Okay. Let's check that bad boy yeah. out. Still no helmet deal. Stock helmet. Got that thing about Troy Designs this year. Dude, how sick is that thing? That thing is rad, dude. It came out badass. I kind of wanted like a retro theme in a way. And you see Justin Marshall's paint job on uh, <laughs> from Monster Cup. Yeah, that's so sick. That thing was pretty cool with the frogs on it. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Motec, you got, um, pretty much have to have Motec nowadays. This stuff right is pretty cool, man. Yeah. Right after every race, uh, my motor builder, Troy, just plugs into it. You can diagnose the whole whole truck, so it's pretty cool. You can find problems that you didn't, you would never even know. So that's the coolest thing about Motec. And um, one thing that I always had a question was: is um, in the UTVs, I'm a tall guy. You're a tall guy. Yeah. How do you usually set the truck up for you? Because you can set it up for being further back, further yeah. forward. Like, what's your position? Like, where do you like to sit in the truck? Yeah, I mean, my pro lie, dude, I was crammed in there. So this thing, I'm actually kind of crammed in there. Um, I kind of like being up on the wheel. And um, this thing, I feel like my foot pedals are a little too far away because actually half the time I get back and I'm, I'm only running 8% throttle. Oh, really? Like, dude, I'm not even... Like, am I wide open? I'm like, hey, make sure I'm wide open because <laughs> my stretch on my foot is just, it's just kind of a funky situation. So that's the only thing I don't like is I'm too sprawled out with my legs. But um, That's one of the things that we actually did for my UTV. Even though it's cramped in there, I've actually moved the pedal towards me more yeah. so that I knew that I was full throttle. Yeah, I kind of I, I kind of wish I would have fixed that, but I've had that problem for a while now. And then uh, always got that handbrake every truck I have. Always have that handbrake. And what do you usually use that for? It's weird, dude. Sometimes I'll sometimes I'll use the crap out of it, 
and then sometimes I won't even use it. But um, I yeah, notice, you know feels. yeah, uh, most of the time I'll use it like the first few laps of the race. Like if I'm uh, battling, just grab that thing, try to rotate a little bit earlier so I can get under the guy. Or um, say the truck pushes, I'll yank that thing, get it to rotate a little yeah, bit. Yeah, move it around. Big old shocks on this bad boy. Yeah, then we got the Bill Steins on there. Um, it's pretty cool. Bill Stein really wasn't in the game when I first got with them. Got Bill Steins on it, and uh, man, those things, those things are bad. Dude, they look killer. Yeah, and a lot of, of, a lot of cool. Yeah, gotta keep these bad boys cool. All right, so the real questions are: Would you rather have chips and guacamole or French fries and ketchup? That's a tough one. Holy crap! Alright, you get the same question then why he thinks about it. Chips and guac. Oh, I'm right sure. there with you. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say probably chips and guac. Some cold guac. Yeah, there you go. Would you like it spicy or not spicy? Uh, a little spicy kind of. It depends on the chips too. I mean uh, I like this henna lime. Dude, same here. I'm right right there with you. Alright, if you were uh, if a character in Hangover, which one would you have been? In what movie? The movie Hangover? Oh. The first one where they go to Las Vegas and just get all hacked up. I don't even remember what their names are. Yeah, it's not that name. I pro I, Probably I think, not the dude that pulls out his teeth, right? <laughs> I think Alan's pretty funny. Yeah. I think he's pretty dang funny, man. Yeah, he's pretty. When they're at the gas station, he's like, don't touch it, don't even look at it, just walk away. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're going with Alan too, or are you I, going? Uh, I mean, I guess so. I, I think you guys are I think the dogs out. with that, man. He could be Mike Tyson. I would, I would, yeah, I would take Tyson on that. Yeah. Right on. Get a little face tap. Thank you guys. I really appreciate no it, man. It's definitely good to see both of you guys. Yeah, yeah, dude, good to see you, man. Yeah, dude. Keep killing it, dude. Appreciate it. Yep. All right. Lucas Nationals. Go, Jared. frustrating. Well, this fine young man who you see right here, Jared Brooks, told me he almost sat out this year because it was so tough transitioning from pro light to pro two. But Jared, for General Tire, for everybody, you're standing up here top of the box, champion this year. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was a little kid watching uh, trophy carts and uh, I was actually watching Rob Mack on that track and I was like, you know what, I want to beat Rob Mack in uh, these last this last, uh, this is my third year in Pro 2, and we've uh, we struggled a lot the last two years, and this year, uh, my team, we uh, we worked our butts off. I for sure want to big give thanks to my uh, my crew because this off season, man, we, we did a lot of testing, and it showed we came out and we're fast right off the gap, right off the, right off the first race. But uh, big thanks to Kevin Kerr as well, man. We did a lot of testing with him, and he made this truck fast, especially uh, with uh, going to DOT with General Tire. And that just kind of helped my whole game, and I just think I had a for sure uh, advantage this whole year on the, the converter game, the tire game, and uh, the setup game. So, uh, big thanks to John Hoffman, Nick, Nacho, Tanner Stevens, uh, the whole family. I, uh, I had a baby this year too, so that's a cool thing. Kind of, kind of, I got a lot of questions. Hey, are you still gonna race until you have a little kid? But uh, it's cool. I kind of proved everyone wrong, and uh, I just got a Pro Two Championship, man. This is awesome. Let's hear it for the teacher! 